Well, hello guys, welcome to the second episode of this versus save. If you don't know what this is all about, well, where have you been? Um, brief explanation, the versus save is essentially a one season save, but the, the quirk is that I'm going up against another creator um, who is, and we're both managing the same club, and that club, as you can see, or maybe you can't see, yeah, no, you can see, is Brest random pick I'm gonna say it every time because no one will believe it but yep yeah, we have picked breast there is a previous episode that you might want to go and see um, episode one and also an introductory episode and the other thing that's important to note is the other creator is putting videos up at the same time each so we're playing the same game day each time and that creator is that trucking football manager so I'm gonna put a link in the description to his channel and also to the video that accompanies this one. So you guys can watch this one, then you can watch the other one and uh, see how we're doing against each other. Essentially, the winner gets the most points. Really simple, really. Uh, but if you want to see the full list of rules, I've got the whole scroll of rules, well, you'll have to go back to the first episode or the episode zero or the introductory episode or whatever I called it. Uh, you'll find that in the playlist uh, and uh, you will see them all there. So. We've come back in match day nine, and I'm absolutely convinced that the trucking football manager will be having more points than I have after probably having a much harder run of games as well. We've had a really easy run of games, and we've not done particularly well. I've had to tweak the tactic a load. I've had to do a whole load of stuff, and we still really haven't got the results. Performances have been okay. So we started off um, that 1-0 loss against Rennes, and... Um, yeah, it was penalty. What can you say? Um, you guys will have your opinions on that. Then we got a lucky draw uh, against Bordeaux at home. I was really happy with that. A, a point against Bordeaux is not bad. We then played Montpellier, drew nil nil. Was pretty happy with that as well. Two points out of the first three games, cannot complain. Certainly, an away point is not bad. Then we went up against St Etienne and things started to go a bit wrong here. They took an early lead. They went 2-0 up. We, uh, Cardona got a ball back, so he is a striker you won't have seen yet. And we've changed the, the tactic a little bit, so that's why he has uh, appeared. we got a goal disallowed. No, own goal. Own goal. It's been a, I did this yesterday, so I'm coming back just for the game today. Uh, but we lost 3-1. Disappointing. Then we played... Monaco and we started off brilliantly we went 1-0 up they got a goal back they've got Slimani you can see the quality of players they've got Mendy got a goal so we're playing him now instead of uh, the other guy Castellier or whatever the hell it was um, and then we Mendy got another goal and then Naldo got a goal and then they just went scoring goals now the, the problem was not that they were absolutely destroying us. The problem was it appeared our goalkeeper had lost his arms somewhere in the second half. I was looking around to find them but his, his way of saving goals appeared to be throwing his body at the ball and just hoping the ball would bounce off in a random direction which wasn't the back of the net. Unfortunately it seems that the direction that it tended to bounce was the back of the net. Uh, there was also probably the most ridiculous run of stupid incidents so much so I was so angry I was convinced that the trucking football manager was controlling the opposition team and somehow affecting what I was doing I mean it, it, it you're going to see one of these goals uh, which was what no <laughs> what was that take me back take me back I, I want I want evidence right this goal from Alexandra here we go Kick it twice to this guy. Hits that guy straight in. Now, what you didn't see just before that goal was another series of random events in the corner just before that where we just kept kicking it at them, trying to clear it, sort of, with back heels and all sorts. Why were they doing that? Nobody knows. But this happened about... as Well, this has happened about four or five times where I've just had, I don't know, the, de the defence of... I mean, school schoolboy defending is not right because schoolboys wouldn't try and do that. This is the defending of an, a lunatic, a bunch of lunatics running around a pitch. You know, they've just been let loose and just, you know, go wild, go wild. There are no rules on this pitch is essentially what it felt like. But 
we lost the game. Is the, the end of that. Then we played um, MEN, uh, who and uh, we played. Uh, you see this statistically: sixteen shots to ten. Played well. Played very very well. We had a a, a complete and utter miss kick by this young lad. So this is a so. I came to the conclusion we cannot play just one up top. It just doesn't work. And we'll show what tactic we're playing. Very, very sort of complicated tactic. But what I tried to do was take this guy who's got really good potential. Genty. Decent dribbling. His finishing is poor and his composure isn't bad. But it's all going up because he's getting match time. Yeah, his finishing is poor. And I can tell his finishing is poor because... You know, when, when you've got an open goal and the goalkeeper's sort of standing off over there somewhere, ball comes to you, you think, well, yeah, I should put it in the goal, but not not he, not he. <laughs> he spoons it straight into the goalkeeper somehow. So, yeah. As you can see, I'm a little bit frustrated by the way we're playing. Then, then, then we played Angers, which, you know, the, the start of this game did anger me. Absolutely. We went 3-0 down. We looked absolutely turd. And then out of nowhere, out of nowhere, we got it back to 3-3. And, and then they scored again. Oh, oh I, I, would, I, I were spitting feathers, I were. I were spitting feathers. And then we played Mustard. Dijon Mustard. I like a bit of Dijon Mustard. Bottom of the league. Bottom, bottom of the league. <laughs> bottom of the league. 2-0 down after half an hour. 2-0 down after half an hour. Away from home, at home, against bottom of the league. I was ready to throw my laptop out the window. But somehow, somehow we got a goal from Cardona, this 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 idiot of a striker who's sort of come in and, and has... He looks better than I gave him credit for. 22 years old, sort of fairly, fairly all-rounder. Um, then they had a player sent off. Then Mendy got himself a, a goal sort of soon after that. And I was thinking, well, we can get back into this. Nothing. Nothing. And in fact, they hit the bar. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, I cannot lose. I cannot lose to 10 men. And then they got uh, another player sent off. And they had another chance. I thought, Christ, I'm going to lose to nine men. It took us to the, the very last minute of the match where Paul Lasagna. The uh, I think I've already made the joke about Lasagna, but we'll make it again. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, he scored a goal. I can't remember what it looked like, but I, I I was too busy celebrating it. So out of all that, out of all that crapness, uh, we're not in the relegation zone. I should also say, um, watching the Trucking Football Managers video, it appears we've gone through gone through the sort of tactical side of things completely different not the tactical side who we've brought in so he has gone for bringing in a decent striker from uh, from Belgium uh, who I didn't see um, I've gone for my defence as you can see it's clearly working we've conceded five and four in, 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 in the last four games and two so that's that's good um, but we have been scoring a few goals now we've changed things up up top uh, so that's that's good as well yeah, um, but I'm I'm convinced when he comes back, I'm I'm predicting maybe maybe seven eight points that you'll have. No, just say almost six points. Right, I'm going to say nine points. I'm going to say nine or ten points. I think he'll have. I think he I think he's at least more than a win uh, ahead of us. And he, I bet he's had a harder run of games because look at the games we've got coming up. Paris Saint Germain. Uh, actually, this isn't too bad. This bit Mets are doing quite well actually, and then Olympic uh, Lyonnais, um, Toulouse, uh, Marseille, and uh, yeah, then we go back to back to the start again. Anyway, it looked hard when I um, it's, uh, Nîmes, yeah, they're doing all right as well, but not um, are surprisingly not doing that well. So we're going to enjoy playing them, and hopefully we can take the confidence that was brought about by that win and move it through to this game and hopefully we can score some goals and not bloody concede thousands of goals and hopefully we'll have weird things happening this is the tactic we're going with we've gone back to a sort of uh, an attacking 4-4-2 with our two um, wide players playing sort of high up you can see we're playing two different wide players that's because uh, Grand Sir and oh no Autre is back that's good 
We'll bring him on there. Shove him straight back in. Straight back in. He's been out for a bit and we've got Grand Sir out for a, a fair period. Uh, hamstring injury, so he's out. He's going to be out for another three weeks. But we've got Mendy who's scoring goals. Ngoma is, is going to play uh, today. And... Uh, yeah, as you see, the goalkeeper's changed. We've swapped the goalkeeper over because he's playing terrible. Sir 2, the guy we brought in, the right back, he's in the side now. Trying to find uh, something that works. Kiki is playing at left back. Um, we've, we've moved those back to sort of a full back on attack, so they're not going to be overlapping quite so much. We've taken off the overlap, actually, um, as well. Uh, so this is what the tactic looks like. We're sort of playing down the left and the right. We've actually taken it off a direct passing, so it's not at all a, wide, a wing play tactic anymore, really. Um, we've um, yeah brought the passing down to standards, the tempo down to standards. We've taken off a bunch of these sort of uh, stats. We've taken off the um, the counter press. We've 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 taken off the distribution. <laughs> We've just changed it all around a bit, so uh, and it it seems to be working a little bit. We'll fiddle around some more as we go, uh, and hopefully come up with the ultimate tactic. I've waffled for 11 bloody minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry. The game will be over in seconds, so you know, let's uh, let's let's go and play some football. Right then, here we are. This is the team we're going with. We've got Mendy and Cardona up top, Utet and Fasasilia on the uh, the wings, Lasagna and Ungerma getting one of his first games in the middle, Kiki on the left of defence, Satu on the right. That means that's all, doesn't it? But not spelled like that. And Silvestri and Castelletto in the middle uh, with Leon in goal. Um, hopefully, he is as good as Leon the Assassin. Played by uh, Jean Reno. Right then, come on guys. This is going to be probably embarrassing, I imagine, in some way. But that's the point of this, isn't it? Point is to for me to be embarrassed so and get absolutely hammered. Right then. Come on guys. We've got our win. First win of the season. That's what you've had. That's what you had. Donovan's happy. <laughs> Jason Donovan's happy. Good. Right. Show let's 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 mix it up. Show some passion right from the start. Hopefully the players like me a little bit more. Now I've actually shown them how to win a match. Castelletto, he's gonna have all the names, that guy. Bias. We're getting a lot of this as well. You have. Oh dear me. That was wide just. Well they've they've started well. Uh Lafont. Has um, done something there. Uh, Castelletto. Oh, God, what are we doing here? I just trust nothing at all what these guys. Oh, ball over the top. Oh, is he onside? Is he onside? It's Mendy. <laughs> He's got the goal. Oh, is that onside? Is that onside? Oh, or is he, is he not a good finisher? Is he not a good finisher? Alexandra. Alexandra. We'll give him his RE. Alexandra Mendy. What a man, what a man, what a mighty good man. But kickoff highlight. And we know what's happening here. Grotto, you know, he's had Santa sitting on him for ages. Oh, God. Bias there. Bambi on the left. <laughs> there it is. Oh. <laughs> That's what it's been like. <laughs> Oh dear me! What do you say? And then and then we'll end up losing to like five nil or five one somehow. Oh. Well, well, lafont has got it again. Is he going to be successful with that pass? Well, he does get it over this time, but Ngoma, Silvestre, he plays it back. Now the goalkeeper has been playing some interesting little balls around, but he finds the man. He's done very well actually. Ortret, Mendy's got it. Oh, it's another one! It's another one! Oh my lord, what a bloody game this is. What a bloody game. Just check on... Yeah, yeah, of course I'm bloody... Uh, recording it. I looked earlier on, didn't I? Utrecht with the corner. Oh, just over the top. Mendy could have got his second hat-trick. Did I I did I actually highlight that? He, he's... I, I demanded more for no apparent reason. I should have praised him. Yeah, Mendy's already got his first hat-trick, uh, but hopefully he can get his second one today. 
and hopefully we can win a game with his second hat trick. But I am so unconvinced with this team at the back. It's like, and considering that is what I, that is what I was working on. Fasasilia, <laughs> beautiful play. It's almost as if we can play football, and we've missed the bloody ball. What's, what was that? What was that, matey? Lasagna's got it. Kiki. Out to that man. Facilier. Setu. Oh, just wide. Cardona tried to nick it round the corner. He did a decent job, but he, he just got no power on the shot. Um, well, they've had two clear-cut shots, and we've had none, apparently. But, well, I don't know if I agree with that. Good. I mean, it's... It's a it's a fun start. And remember, we're on key highlights, so I mean, God knows what's gonna what this is gonna finish up like. Bamba, Sol Bamba, is it? Probably not going that speed. Oh. But then again, with a shot, you know, he had a good shot on him, didn't he, Sol Bamba? Right, we're gonna hit the right button now. Praise him, praise him. Is that gonna do it? Castelletto's nervous. I don't know why I find that difficult to say. Castelletto, it's easy. Coco, Chanel. Bonaventure, oh dear, here we go, Sol Bamba, take it off him. Oh, what? Oh, Coco, Coco Pops. From there, I mean, the, the defensive header was bordering on the terrible. You put the ball in like this, Bamba's got it, defender doesn't go anywhere near him, and just, oh, lovely defensive header, straight to him. I mean, you couldn't have made it any easier for him. Disappointing, and they're coming back at Kayambi. Ball out, Grotto. Come on, get the ball, get the ball. We've got it, we've got it. It's Kiki. Can he make up for his cock up earlier? I don't know. I don't know why it's an interesting ball. Do not shoot, do not shoot. He's got to shoot. <laughs> you just know. It. Oh, he's offside. Fine, I'll take it. I'll take it. He knew, he knew. We all knew. Right, demand more. Not good enough, guys. Defensively, we're a horror show. Absolute bloody horror show. Well, it's two all. Um, well, got the ball. Oh, come on. How many penalties are we going to give away? Fuck. Of course he is. Armory de Lurie. He's having a look at the penalty. I don't know why it's Russian. Oh. Here is the box. It's a penalty. That's a surprise. Ugh. Piss. Come on, save it. Bias. Unconscious bias. Ah, oh, no. Right then, what are we going to do? Well, first time we've been behind. Ludovic bias. Come on. We can't keep bloody conceding goals like this. Who can what can we do? Bean. Should we bring Bane on? I mean, he could tackle. I mean he could be that man, could he not? Ball winning midfielder. He could be that man. Right. And do we take off yeah and put Genty on? It's just gonna a couple of fresh legs on because we are creating chances. Just why, why clear it like that, mate? Why clear it like that? Right, corner to them. Bon Adventure. Oh, keeper makes a save. That that is a novelty, a novelty that I will remember for the rest of my life. Lyon. Uh, it's a long ball. Does precisely nothing. I mean, considering you've been doing so well with your feet, don't go for the long ball, mate. And the defence just dissolves and it's one-on-one. -on -one, so it's never going to go in unless it's Mendy with a one-on-one. -on -one. Show some passion, guys. Grotto. Are you going to tackle him, maybe? I mean, that's tends to be what people do. Go on, run, run. No, I'm not, you're not going to run for that, are you? Why bother? Why bother? Who runs these days? Right, Leon. Ball back to Castelletto. I think I got it right that time. Leon, look at that, playing with him. 
<laughs> back to Leon. Back to Castelletto. And Castelletto finally goes long. And Mendy does a great job. Or Tet. And Ball is wide here. It's Grotto. Grotto, you know, does it well. Does it well. Coco Chanel. Uh, into Bias. Bias. Nice, nice uh, bit of defensive. Kiki inside. Bane. And Genty, who is the youngster, plays it in, into the, the wide man. First time into Fasasini. Yeah, oh, it's in. It's in. He's got his bloody hat trick. He's only got his bloody hat trick, hasn't he? Mendy. What? What is this game? What is this game? What is this bloody tactic? Right then. Um, I mean, well done for coming back, but I have no idea. Oh, bloody kickoff highlight. Really? Really? You're going to do this to me? Just for five bloody seconds. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, Pete's sake. <sighs> there are no words for that. It's one on one, he shouldn't be allowed to score that. Right. What's next? I think that's probably going to be it. Or it will go 5-3 five, five, to them. Knowing FM as I do. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well... That 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 quickly pissed on my bonfire, didn't it? Maybe, maybe we should do something about the defence. I, I don't know what you guys think, but he's offside. Offside. Yeah, maybe we should do something about this this defence because I mean, scoring three goals is great and it's good for morale and these sort of things, but. Conceding four, five goals a game, not so good. I'm not quite sure why we're doing so badly defensively. Um, but I will I will play with it. I will play with it some more. But at least you guys have got to see some goals and you've kind of got to see... The, the crazy life I'm leading here at Brest. Um, I, I don't think the Brest board, press board, <laughs> are going to be too happy with this. Come on, you're going to score? No, no, you can't score a one on one. It's Mendy. Pass it to Mendy. He scores the one on ones. I mean, to be fair, looking at the stats, maybe they deserve. Why did you just run out of the way? Yeah, one. On, they they probably deserve the win, but. You know, I'd like to win, so I don't really care who deserves it. So two's injured, which is good. It probably is good, actually. So, yeah, second hat trick from Mr. Mendy, and second time he scored a hat trick, and we've lost the game. That that's not so good. That's not so good. Right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a little bit crazy. If you did, please hit the like button. Um, please subscribe. And, uh, yeah, make sure you go along and see whether the Trucking Football Manager has got Brest playing as crazy football as I have. I don't think it's this attack as attacking a formation as it's being. I'm not quite sure why we are conceding so many goals. It just makes no sense to me. Any thoughts on the matter, please leave in the comments. I am confused utterly confused what what the heck is going on anyway thank you very much for coming along and uh, yeah check out uh, the trucking trucking football managers video in the description below and i'll see you next time goodbye